CPS celebrated a first for the district, a new name for one of its schools. What was Agassiz Elementary is now named after Harriet Tubman. Having her as the new name of our school shows that our school is a place for good people to thrive and develop. A school assembly officially commemorated the new era with a little razzle-dazzle from the students. And it was the students who had a prominent role in pursuing the name change. We wanted to make sure that this was not just about policy or adults making decisions. We have said time and time again that student voice and student agency is important. The previous namesake was a Swiss American biologist who promoted racist ideologies. There had been a push several years ago to rename the school, but efforts were renewed after the murder of George Floyd. Students paved the way for the name review process. They were front and center in researching other choices and lobbying for the change with the school board. You not only learned, but you modeled what it means to confront falsehood, oppose racism, cultivate inclusivity, and empathy. While this was the first CPS school to change its name, it may not be the last. Researchers have found dozens of other schools named after slaveholders and other racists. In Lakeview, Karen Jordan, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.